Hello, thank you for watching this video. So, the reason why I'm quitting Tekken 7 and probably I won't play Tekken 8 as well is because I don't find them fun anymore. That's basically the reason. If you if you think that a game is not giving you pleasure, then just quit it. Now I can talk about the flaws. Tekken 7 and Tekken 8, it seems, or it appears, are games that are very, 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 very much luck-based. Like, a lot of it is luck. And I do not know how the netcode in Tekken 8 is, but Tekken 7 appears to be a very luck-based game. It appears to be one of those games where you have to read the other opponent. And even if you get the read on the other opponent, then you need to have the knowledge of the character whether or not they will attack. And the problem is that when you have fighting games like this, where you have to actually guess, you cannot take advantage even if you are at an advantage because you do not know whether the next attack is coming or not. So I think that Tekken 7 is luck based after a while like at the very highest level it's basically luck based and even in slightly lower levels like just below the professional level it's luck based it's not about who the good player is it is about who is reading the other uh, other player correctly and also it's about knowledge so if you have knowledge about a particular character you might end up beating a tekken god omega even if you are a very low level green level marauder or something uh, and yeah, that, that's really a flaw. I think that's a flaw because uh, you should have you should have a game where if you are initiating the attack or if you have read that, okay, this is a gap that I found, then, well, I'll take advantage of that. And uh, natural combos, like not the natural combos, like Haorang, Haorang's down 3-4, I'm not talking about those natural combos. I'm talking about the combos that you as a player make as you are as you are playing the game if you take a look at the game called um i don't remember what that game's name was it was fight night yeah fight night was the kind of a game where you actually you would be actively defending as in you could lean left lean right you could lean back and defend that was that was basically a game where very different from tekken of course a boxing game but over there if you if you could react to the punches of your of your of your of your opponent, you could just lean back and then you would get a get a punch a counter punch or not a counter punch. Uh, yeah, it, it it is actually a counter punch, and you could get that. But in Tekken, it's not it's not there. In fact, if you if you in, try to interrupt your opponent with uh, with a, with a with an attack that's not interruptible you get counter hit launch most of the time the problem is that that shouldn't happen if there's a gap between attacks then either you should not be allowed to well attack or the uninterruptible attacks should have very very long frames that that would let anybody react to them however those are uh, those uninterruptible frames they should also uh, sorry those interruptible frames should also have a massive reward if you if you if you if you land them so my problem with basically with tekken is that it doesn't have all characters do not have a generic evade move which you can use to basically if you read the opponent that this opponent is about to use a string you can actually use that and then you'll basically be able to be able to counter it i w i used to use haorong and uh with julia i just i i just blew uh, blew every single player that i came across of course i lost too but i was winning more matches with julia just because she's a strong character and by design she has a very very big advantage over other players with her bow and arrow and also some of her other moves which are very difficult to read and you never know whether she's going to complete her string or not which basically even if the other player has a and has a frame advantage they won't be able to take it because they'll be there they will be their their frame trap is going to be over here in the brain so at the moment for now i've quit tekken 7 
and I will try Tekken 8, I'll buy it, but I'm quite sure I'll not like it. The developer's design flaws are still there. As a game designer, I can still see that uh, the design flaws are there. I'll probably not play Haurang anymore, although the some of the things that they have done with Haurang uh, in Tekken 8 are good, but they still haven't given him the tools that he definitely required. Didn't give it to him. And by the way, there are certain characters that have an advantage over the other character and that shouldn't really happen in a fighting game i don't think so i think all characters should have tools slightly slight variations of tools but they should have all characters should be rewarded for aggressive play and if there is a defense then the offense should also be defense which is not basically something that the tekken 7 tekken 8 devs have done uh, if I read an attack, let's say uh, you're coming up with a with a uh, Kazuya's two two three, sorry one one sorry one one two, you're coming up with that. If I have read the one one, the next time, even if I press back, I should get an automatic evade where I can just get a get a counter counter punch or something like that, uh, like that and that's not there in Tekken. Some characters do have it. Paul has an evasive, like, uh, uh, I do not know, it's quarter circle back, I think that he can do that evasive move. Most characters should have that. It should be that, and also all characters should have very, very good approach tools. Like, if somebody's just backdashing, backdashing, first of all, shouldn't really be part of the game. There should be just very one small backdash to actually evade moves. Uh, and they they should also be guaranteed like it's a guaranteed backdash. So if you if you if you backdash, you completely miss the move. Like if you have read that the other character is about to land an attack, a string, and you read that string, you should completely like backdash. And not I'm not talking about side steps. The problem with side steps is still you have to guess what the other character is about to do. Sometimes side steps don't work because certain moves have tracking on either side. So side steps are very unreliable the uh, like the best example of a game which i think is very balanced is fight night fight night was probably the best game fighting game that i've ever played as you had built in built in evasion and if you're defending uh, even if you didn't defend properly you could still like get a reward out of it that you're moving here and there so you'd probably get a punch in in a uh, punch over there and even if you like didn't read something correctly and you got hit you wouldn't be lost for a million damage uh, of course it's a boxing game but then again street fighter was uh, for a while, it wasn't a juggle simulator. Tekken 7 is a juggle simulator, and uh, there are certain moves which really uh, any player cannot answer to that. Even you can take a look at the recent recent match between Kavis and Sir Ar Arsalan Ash. The reason why Arsalan Ash mainly lost was because he did not have experience playing a very good Haorong. That that is mainly the reason why he lost. It's not that Kavis was simply better than better than Ars Arsalan Ash. It's just that Kunimitsu is doesn't have all of the tools required to beat a very good haorang she does but then again the character is balanced in favor of haorang that that he can take advantage of that this shouldn't ha shouldn't happen either kunimitsu should be the same for all characters and she and haorang should be the same for all characters it shouldn't be like one character is is better for the other they should have these tools some some tools except for sidestep and backdash which are unreliable sometimes they should have some tools some evasive buttons or something which a character can use to get some amount of damage to basically evade moves like let's uh, today i uninstalled tekken 7 mainly because of a lucky chloe player now the problem with lucky chloe is that the back turn and she spins the, that 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 move the problem is that there should be a counter for it for all players, for all characters, just a single counter for, for that. There should be a single counter for that, that if the if the character is rolling, then you should have a guaranteed punish if 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 the if if the character if if the user who's playing against Lucky Chloe reads it properly. Now with Harong, the problem is that even if I sidestep, she would just go so far away that I couldn't couldn't reach reach uh, reach Lucky Chloe to basically initiate an attack. 
So the, these kind of things really frustrate and then you believe that you're actually wasting time playing a game of Tekken where you can actually uh, do something even more productive and more fun. So for now, I've quit Tekken 7, uh, but I will probably take a look at Tekken 8, probably change the character, probably uh, have Jun Kazama because she has, she does have the, uh, does have uh, like the parry, but then again, it's unreliable because the person can chicken out of it. So yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's stupid. Like, all characters, I believe, should have parries. Every single one of them should have parries, which cannot be countered. And they should do a very small amount of damage just to stop the aggression, just so that the person doesn't keep on abusing the same move over and over again. That should be with, for all characters. And most characters, all characters, all attacks should be interruptible. All attacks should be interruptible. There should only be uh, the only attack that should not be interruptible should be the fast attacks that if the character blocks them, then then they get a guaranteed punish or no 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 uh, no attack should be punishable at all, like nothing. No attack should be punishable at all. And if a character gets a low then the next attack uh, first of all all, all all lows should be very slow and if they get a low then the next two or three attacks should be guaranteed and if you launch a character you should not have combo extension you should, you should only do a maximum of 50 damage to 60 damage per per air combo that is the maximum that you should be allowed and it, it would be a it would be it would be a more fun game uh that's the reason why i like tekken 3. i'm still thinking about uh, i mean installing Tekken 3 and playing that because that game was like very well balanced uh, even though how wrong my the character that I played was extremely slow even in that game as well but he had very good tools he had absolutely wonderful tools to get make him uh, make him a good good a good character which isn't really uh, isn't really in Tekken in Tekken 7 and it's not in Tekken 8 Tekken 8 uh, people say that Harang is broken or uh, some people are saying that Harang is a problem he's not uh, just duck and you'll evade most of his attacks